Creek Road Northwest. Sorry, my GPS is going. I apologize. She's going to interrupt probably a couple of times. But again, good morning, Rumble. So it'll ask. 
ask you to log into your Facebook. Just hit the login. It'll do all the things. It'll give you the one vote. You can vote once every 24 hours. I'm going to ask you all to do that. Round two, so this is the 10th, that will be over on March the 3rd at 6 p.m. So vote, 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 vote as many times as you can. Well, once a day. Once a day for me, please. All you peoples, once a day. And that'll get him up here. I'm assuming once he gets through <coughs> the top 10, then it will be the top five. And then they're probably going to pick a winner. So I'm going to ask you to do this just a little bit. We're probably going to put this one out today because I need it to come out. So y'all probably going to get four videos this week. You will. That's just how it's going to work. Because I need my baby to win. So what do they get? Well, he gets a spread in the magazine. And he would be the second of my children to have a spread in the magazine. Pompeo was the first. She was the cover girl. Yes, she was. Uh, for Critters Magazine. And it's a magazine that helps to get babies that are in shelters or foster care to get them adopted. Well, she was already adopted by the time that cover came out because they had done that spread and it was for the March cover. And I had already had adopted her. So... But it still worked because she had a little twin sister named uh, Anna. She was Hannah. The other one was Anna. So it still worked out. I'll put her little, um, I'll put her cover, her cover right here. I know she don't look like that anymore, does she? No, she a fat little girl. Anyway, um, he gets the cover of the magazine. But here's the big, the big one. There's a $5,000 prize. That $5,000 prize would go so far in my kitten rescue, y'all have no idea. I can stop begging y'all for donations, <laughs> at least for a little while. That $5,000 would, I mean, Lord, to be honest with you, as long as I didn't have a whole bunch of like really sick kittens, that could last years and years and years in my kitten rescue. No kidding. Um, my sweet friend that donated the 20 pounds of formula we are just now finishing up that 20 pounds of formula. I've got a bit of it left, but I've got to use it by May. So if I don't get kittens in the next month or so, I may donate it out to someone else that already has babies because I don't want it to go bad because then you just got to throw it out. And I don't want to throw it out. So I'll give it to somebody else that, you know, that has babies uh, and that can, that can use it if I have to. But, you know, that lasted an entire two years and I didn't even use that much of it. That was like $300. Nadine Haynes, that's who. Nadine, you know, I love you, girl. I try to give you kudos as much as I can. She's the one that donated that. She paid for it, sent it directly to me. So you can imagine what $5,000 would do, you guys. I mean, wow, that's a lot of formula. It's a lot of diaper wipes. It's a lot of toilet paper, right? A lot of kitty litter. That would really help out. So that's what we're going for is we really, I want that $5,000 prize for my kitten rescue. Legit, that's what it's for. So please help a girl out and uh, vote every day, once a day through the Facebook. There's the link. You've got it. If you follow me on Facebook, you know I've already got it out there. For everybody that has voted, thank you. And for the people that continue to vote, thank you even more. Jason Haywood, appreciate you. I know he's voting every day. And I know lots of people are. So I don't ask y'all for a whole lot of help, but when I do, you know I need it. So hopefully y'all can come through. He would win. That would be phenomenal. And uh, the rescue would have some much needed, much needed funds. Because you know that I pay for everything out of my pocket. Because poor Dixie can't afford to. You just don't have the money. So, there's that. Since we're talking about the things, go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Uh, last I checked, we were up to 459 subscribers. Yay! I know. I, oh, I got to pay attention. Hang on, y'all. They did get rid of the blocks, but there's a, there's a truck there, so I got to get out of the way. I know she sounds good, doesn't she? <laughs> Y'all know I love to put my foot in it. I can't do that when I get the Lotus. Anyway, so you subscribed. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up right here. Thank you. Go ahead and hit that notification bell right there as well. That way you don't miss any of the nonsense you know that's coming up. The Lotus is coming. Uh, the chassis is actually being built right now. Uh, we were in the bottom tier when we checked uh, two weeks ago. And I think we hadn't, oh no, we moved up one spot as of last week. So that is actually being built. Uh, I am still waiting on doing my Zoom call uh, with Neil, which is uh, one of the guys that 
one, because they're just really cool and they love to help out. Two is because once they do that, they have that motor and they can then build other chassis around that when people figure out that they can do an eco boost in it and people will want it. Because once ours is done, we'll be giving, we'll be sharing raw footage with them as well so that they can do whatever they want to do with the raw footage. They can, you know, put out whatever they want to put out. Don't put out what they don't want to put out. Uh, but, you know, we're going to be built, we're going to be filming this from the get go, basically. So I'm going to send all my raw footage to them. But this will be the first one that's done with an eco boost. So it's kind of important for everybody. You know, U.S. doesn't really have a whole lot of these um, around. I know I don't think there's any in the South at all, to be quite honest with you. Um, nobody's done it with the Eco Boost, as far as I know. So we might be the first. I think the print said someone was messing around with it, but they haven't gotten it done yet. So, you know, it's getting built. We're doing all that. Uh, we may have them just hang on to the chassis a little bit longer and. Um, pay for some other things that we can get it shipped all at once because the shipping is quite expensive from the UK. It's going to cost us a few thousand dollars to get it shipped. So obviously we want to shove as much in that box as humanly possible. Uh, yeah, to keep from having to, you know, to pay for those types of things. And of course that one's expensive because it's heavy, but you know, still the thing. So I still have that video that I've got to get up uh, with Neil and I. That will come soon. that you decide that you want to view my content 